this coup was plotted and orchestrated by two senior party officials alongside others within the party secretariat. These senior officials are Mrs. Cecil Mbarire and Mr. Kimani Ichungwa, MP for Kikuyu constituency. That my oster by the above officials had nothing to do with incompetence or my inability to run the UDA party, but was a well choreographed script intended to climax with the impeachment of the deputy president regarding Gashagwa. My close and inevitable working relationship with the deputy president, who is also the UDA deputy party leader, act them. And when their concerted effort, lobbying and coercion to set me against my deputy party leader failed, I was effectively profiled and labeled as an obstacle towards their evil plot and conspiracy to have His Excellency Rigadi Gashagwa impeached. It is not a coincidence, therefore, that one of the coup plotter's accomplices, Mr. Hassan Omar, was unlawfully proposed as my immediate replacement. Let it be known that the planned impeachment of the Deputy President had nothing to do with President William Ruto, the broad-based government, or any other narrative the coup plotters have advanced. The impeachment had everything to do with egocentric 2027-2032 politics from the Mount Kenya region and was instigated and propelled by Mrs. Cecil Mbarire and Mr. Kimani Ichungwa. These two want our deputy president out so that they can strategically position themselves within the emerging political realignments. This backward politics must be called out because if left to fester, it threatens the stability, popularity, and the very existence of the UDA party, which the party leader his Excellency William Ruto, his Deputy Rigadi Gashagwa, and myself have worked tirelessly to build.